The top risk really are, are kind of twofold. They have to do both with data loss uh, as well as the introduction of malware through rogue USB devices. So I'll take number one first, the data loss. Uh, these mass storage devices, and it can be a mass storage device, could be a camera, it could be anything with a memory chip on it, whether it be a, uh, or a hard drive on it, like a, um, an iPod, USB thumb drives, USB external hard drives. So if a user has access to just bring these uh, devices in, plug them in, and that operating system allows them to load the driver for that and have access to it, now you have an issue of what is that user doing with that external or that external hard drive or that removal media device. Most of your users are using that device to download data to that device and maybe bring that device home to do some work at home, right? Not all users have intent of stealing data and, and doing ill will. Uh, so we have a data leakage issue there where users are bringing it off. The other, then you have a smaller percentage of your well-funded, well-motivated adversaries who are trying to get at your data intentionally, knowing that they can walk up to a desktop that if they had some sort of access to, they could plug this in the operating system would load it up and they would have access to ma downloading a massive amount of data to this external device, if they will. The other part has to do with malware. So now your user brings this external device home and they do some work at home during the night or, or, or the, over the weekend and they upload data back to that thumb drive or to that hard drive and they bring that data back into work and that home computer that they're on your corporate, the corporate or that business has absolutely no idea what kind of security is on that machine, okay? So now they bring this data uh, into the network, they plug it in uh, to their desktop, and it upload, they upload all this data that they worked on on the weekend with the intent of doing good for the company, but they just introduced potentially some malware into the back door via this external device. There are a couple of common mistakes that I've seen over the years. Uh, the first has to do with the fact that some organizations don't even have a policy in place. We walk into an organization, we start talking to them about securing removal media, securing rogue devices, and you see that they don't even have a policy in place that defines how users or how organizations or groups in the organizations are, are to use rogue USB devices or USB devices that may enhance productivity. There's no policy in place. For those organizations that do have policies in place, we've seen a couple of problems. Number one, it's a lack of workforce training, right? They don't enable their workforce through training to help them understand what's right and what's wrong. They just write a policy down, they say you will do this, you will not do that, but they don't quite elaborate to their users and help them understand what the effect is for bringing a massive amount of data off the network and, you, and losing a USB thumb drive at an internet cafe, right? So there's no real workforce training there. The key steps to addressing data security really revolve around three pieces. Uh, the first piece being we actually have to define a policy that makes sense for the organization, okay? Uh, uh, when it comes to protecting data, data is today's currency, data is the king out there on the street. That's what everybody wants. They want a cor corporation's data. So we have to, you, corporations have to design a policy specifically, uh, uh, specifically designed to define a policy specifically designed to protect the data from walking out of the building illegally or improperly, okay? Part two of that comes with educating the workforce, right? So now we have a policy in place that says, hey, you will not do these things. Data is not allowed to leave the, the, the organization without these permissions or without uh, this authorization. Now we have to educate, you have to educate your consumer base or your customer base, your users to, to help them understand what exactly that means. Not only what exactly does that mean, but what are the consequences as a result of violating the policy, okay? A, it has major damage on the company. B, it has major damage on the company's uh, customer base, and C has major effect on your ability to stay, continue working with that organization. So now that we have these two pieces in place, the actual policy and the education piece, you still need, can't make the assumption that that's the end all, that everybody understands what's going on, and there aren't any users out there that aren't gonna violate the policy. Uh, or there aren't any well-funded, well-motivated adversaries out there that aren't going to violate the policy. So now you have to put a technology in place that actually gives you the ability to enforce that policy.
This data protection solution should be very, very granular. The granularity will allow you to manage the exceptions you need to manage in any size organization. It's very difficult to have a one or a zero switch to either enable or disable USB or, or firewire or serial ports or devices for those ports. You need a very granular solution that allows you to define times of day. Uh, based on what type of connectivity. Is that laptop connected to the network or is it outside in a hotel? Should be able to allow you to define the different scenarios that are out there that your users use in order to how they can use the devices that they're using. I also believe that this technology should allow you to audit all data written to approve removable media devices. There will be users in your organization that do need to write data to removable media, whether it be via a CD or a DVD or an external hard drive, or maybe even a company-issued USB thumb drive. It's a good technology. It can be very helpful to advancing or to accomplishing the mission. The issue with that is, is if you do allow users to do that, you should be able to know exactly what is being taken off the network at all times. So the ability to audit all data written to removal media and written from that removal media onto the endpoint is very, very important. I think the third piece that is very important is the ability to protect or encrypt the data that is written to removal media. If you allow users to write data to removal media, you should always make sure that that data is protected or encrypted. So that if that thumb drive or that flash drive or that external hard drive is lost or misplaced or stolen, uh, you know that your risk now is much more limited or much smaller based on the fact that you have a, a encrypted data on that drive. The data is not out there in the open.